bro, this what I be talking about. Like sometimes you just got you just gotta miss your turn. Just go around the block. I'm trying to tell you, man. Look at this. You wanna hold everybody else up because you in the wrong lane. So this was the question that was presented to me. Would I rather have a young, hungry, or, or I'm sorry, would I rather have a hungry, motivated Tom Brady in a division instead of a Dak Prescott? I thought about it. Not long because the answer is, if you meet, the answer is simple. Yeah. Yeah, I'd rather have Tom Brady in the division over Dak Prescott. Because I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what Tom Brady hasn't had to do. And you could go ahead and you can compare the numbers right now. Dak Prescott over the last two years, I think is like 5-11 and 11 against teams 500 and over. Dak fold when it counts. I mean, come on. The stat pattern, it's nothing. Dak fold when it counts. Now, when you're talking about Tom Brady over the last two years against teams over 5-11, and 11, Tom Brady has been good. I think like 10 wins the last two years, 10 and something with teams over five and 11. I think I got him at like 10 and six. He's over 500 and doing it. But at the end of the day, Tom Brady really rarely ever has a team over 500 in his division with him. I would love for us to be able to spank up on the legend twice a year. We're not scared of him. You think we hate dollars now? Let Tom Brady be that quarterback. Let Tom Brady be that quarterback. Tom Brady will never beat the Philadelphia Eagles again for the rest of his career if he end up a Dallas Cowboy. Book it. Book it. So we not worried. The rest of the NFC East, the Redskins, all them dudes, they could be worried. We not worried. The, Gi the Giants have passed, probably wouldn't have been worried. They beat him twice in the Super Bowl. But Doug, Doug's still around and Doug beat him. Brandon Graham and I'm still around and they beat him. We ain't worried. Nor are we scared of no damn Tom Brady. So come on with it. At the end of the day, I think Dak might have shot himself in the foot, man. I think he might have shot it. It's going to be really interesting to see how this debacle unfold. Because you got guys. This, this these, these are some of the guys that I think that's better than Dak Prescott right now that's hitting free agency at his position. Ryan Tannehill, I think, is better than Dak Prescott, who's probably going to end up being franchise tagged. Um, what's the guy? What's, what's Drew Brees' backup? Bridgewater, I think, is better than Dak Prescott. Um... Drew Brees is better than Dak Prescott. So right now you got three. Carson Wentz is better than Dak Prescott. I mean, Carson Wentz ain't on that list. I'm sorry. Tom Brady is better than Dak Prescott. So now you got four. I'm not going to go ahead and say Mariota is better than Dak Prescott. I'm not going to, I'm not going to give it. I'm not going to say that right now. Jameis Winston is interesting. That's interesting if you want to think about it. Now, we know Jameis got all the picks and all of that, but that everybody is backing Dak off stats alone. Jameis' offensive stats was better than Dak Prescott. The offensive stats were better. 5,000 passing yards. 5,000 passing yards. The dude who led the league in passing yards is a free agent. Something to think about. Something to think about. Something to think about. Something to think about. Now, um, Phillip Rivers, um, I'm not going to give it to Phillip Rivers just like that. I'm not going to give it up to Phillip being better than Dak right now. Phillip is on a decline. But what's interesting about this Tom Brady thing is that they actually agreed to let him hit free agency. They, they want to let him test the market. Now, the logic behind that was they said something on the lines of this. Um, if, if you, you know, let's send him out there and let's see what happens. Let's, uh, you, you know, you know. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's 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 hear from Philly 500 real quick and what he got to say about the draft. What's up, my man LB? How you doing? All right. So the one guy I want to talk about today is a guy that, of course, we're not going to leave off this board. Of course, we're not going to forget. But I want to talk about perhaps the best wide receiver in this draft. Arguably, maybe one of the best wide receivers to come out in a draft in a long time. And that's Jerry Judy of Alabama. Six foot one, 192 pounds. The guy isn't the biggest guy, but my gosh, this guy can run routes probably better than anybody in this draft class. Knows how to create separation. Very smart player. Fast, athletic. He has it all. He has it all, and he has the potential to not only be the best wide receiver in this draft class, but he has the potential to be maybe 
the one of the best wide receivers to come out in a very, very long time. So on our draft board, we can't forget Jerry Judy. You know, I mean, that was a real good pick by Philly 500, real strong pick. Uh, Jerry Judy is is that guy. And this is what I want some of you guys to understand. Just we're not going in order of best to worst. We're not. We're not going in order of, of, of you, you, you know, best to worst. We're not. So y'all just now saying Jerry Judy. Yeah, we just now saying Jerry Judy. But we said him. The draft board is going to be compiled of 20 people. We're already almost closing up on 10 and we already got um, a bunch of wide receivers. I think we only have one uh, guy that's not a wide receiver on the draft board. Don't worry, it's going to get better because the wide receivers that we picked, that's the no brainers. We want to start digging into the caboodle, the caboodle, the linebackers and stuff. Nobody not talking about that. I think we got one cornerback on there. You know what I'm saying? But we getting it together. We getting it together. And at the end of the day, um, uh, back, back to the New England and what their mindset was. This is reported, obviously. The mindset with New England was this. Let's let him go out there, see what he like. Let's let Bill get the, let, let's get let, um, Belichick get the scouring around, see what he like. And if it come back to us, it's meant to be. Now, I don't know about this. This this this, this sticky. I've never seen it like this before. If, if somebody is going to pick up Tom Brady, it's going to be somebody who feel like they're on the cusp of a Super Bowl. And I feel like that that somebody would be Jerry Jones. It would be Jerry Jones. I can see right now Tom Brady getting about 37, 38 million for two years. For two years. And if they can't get it done in these two years, they start it all over. They ain't got nothing to lose. They got nothing to lose. And, and, you, you know what I mean? I if I'm if I'm the Patriots, I like them odds. If I'm the Patriots, I like them odds. I'm sorry, if I'm the Cowboys, I like them odds, man. Think about it. A team that hasn't won nothing in 25 years. The six times, arguably the best, the best, the best quarterback of all time just hit free agency. You the biggest brand in the world down there, the Dallas Cowboys. Tom Brady is past the point of his career where he think he got to prove it with his arm. Zeke will have a field day playing with Tom Brady. A field day. And Tom Brady don't need Amari Cooper. Tom Brady's won Tom Brady's won Super Bowls with people less than Amari Cooper. So you can let Amari Cooper go and you can let Dak Prescott go. The wide receiver draft is so heavy this year that you actually can let Dak and uh, Amari go, grab Tom Brady, pick you up somebody in the draft, pair him up with Michael Gallup, Tavon Austin. Jason Witten's backup at tight end wasn't bad at all. And I think that would be absolutely dangerous if Tom Brady came to the Dallas Cowboys if you did it that way. You know what I mean? But it won't be dangerous to us. It'll be a dogfight between us and whoever, man, in the division next year. I just don't see nobody being a, being able to be a force with us next year anyway. But but you know what I mean? There's so many different ways this thing could go with Dak Prescott. The, the Dallas Cowboys can take Ryan Tannehill, which I doubt. It's, it's either Tom Brady... Like Drew Brees, man. Drew Brees could go over there and take a two-year deal. A two-year deal. Two-year deal. If you offer Tom Brady a two-year deal, two-year deal, $66 million fully guaranteed, $33 million a year, Tom Brady taking it. Tom Brady taking it. Fully guaranteed, he taking it. And all Tom Brady bread got to be fully guaranteed. He that type of guy. He taking it, man. He taking it. He's taking. He's, he was never the highest paid player ever in any year he started. So, you know, man, this is a chance for Tom Brady to go out there and get respected based upon his past accolades.